Aloha, beautiful pod, luminosity, crystalline here. It's been a minute, a miracle, since we've done a love stream. And we just want to talk a little bit about gritting and what gritting is all about and how powerful it is and what a powerful time this is to grid up the planet. So um, we, as we know, we're in these powerful quantum leaping miracles of change and uh, the human resonance on the planet is going, taking these incredible quantum leaps. And if you think this love stream is inspiring or is going to be inspiring, please share it, that's called gifting. So yeah, the um, planet is taking these huge uh, leaps in consciousness, putting us into these gamma wave frequencies. The human resonance is the heartbeat of the planet. And so we, what we do when we do grid work is we align ourselves with the energies of the planet. And hi, I'm actually on a call right now. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, thank you. We can chat some other time. Do you want to say hey now? No. Why not? Because I'm occupied. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So, We'll move if you won't move. Okay, thank you. Yeah. See, we have to assert our authority on the planet right now to help bring a quantum shift. So we just did a little demonstration of what it is to assert our authority in a kind and loving way. Um, we're going to talk about grids. We're going to talk about, we're going to give some metaphors here to empower people to understand what it means to do grid work. So if we think about ourselves as being on a motherboard, a hard drive, that hard drive, as you know, anyone who does that kind of work knows that you can shift the circuitry on the hard board by moving little wires and little things around. And when you move them around, it changes what the motherboard does. So as humans, we are those little things that can be moved around the motherboard to make a complete difference in the consciousness and align ourselves with the frequencies that are coming through the planet. It's called the planetary logos. And so one of the ways that we align ourselves with the information coming through, the awakening of Albion frequencies on the planet, is to do grid work. So grid work can be very simple. It can just be doing a prayer with a tree or a plant or a bird or a bee. It's really just about bringing our consciousness to a moment in time and space. So in Bali, for example, it's very common to share um, blessings all over the streets every day. And you see people going around with trays of little offerings that they've made and they move from one place to another on the streets and they make the offerings and they light the incense every day. And they do that for a reason because that is bringing their consciousness into the earth. It's a conscious way of participating and engaging with a vibrational frequency that we want to create on the planet. And so because the earth is doing these quantum shifts, these leaps, and we're communicating with the earth, we're moving simultaneously. There's something called the star knowledge bundles and that's one of the things that uh, we carried around the planet for many miracle years uh, and it was brought through by the Lakota Dakota and the star knowledge bundles have 52,000 year old codes to reactivate the earth. So when we worked with the star knowledge symbols, it was like a message to the consciousness of the earth that enough of us were awake and we understood that we, that we were working with planetary ascension frequencies. And so it's like this collaboration with the planet. If this love stream is inspiring, please share it. That's called gifting. So what is happening right now on the planet? So let's talk about structures for a minute. We're going to talk about churches and um, governmental buildings and corporations and where they were set up on locations on the planet in very specific places in what we call the grid. So nodal points. 
powerful places where ley lines come together where so the ley lines are like energy meridians just like in Chinese medicine there are energy meridians that run through the body and when we work with those energy meridians wherever the meridians cross that creates a vortex so all of the churches for example were placed on very powerful nodal points in on the planet in the hologram in the consciousness and so grid workers worked with those points to liberate that energy because the buildings the structures incantations black magic and spells were continually being brought through these locations to influence what was happening in the consciousness and so that transformation is occurring on the planet because everyone is waking up so those structures have no power anymore those um, organizations have no influence in the consciousness anymore like Einstein said eventually we will have to transcend our belief in science and religion that is a time now it's called unity consciousness on the planet if this live stream is inspiring please share it that's called gifting so what is happening with a lot of these structures on the planet is they're becoming empty and vacant in the crystalline corridor of creation of where we are currently on the planet um, there's boarded up churches everywhere and they just have like spray paint on the boards and the windows and all that kind of thing so if we were to have an international gridding day and make it super potent and powerful where would be the most obvious place to invite people to go on a specific day the locations of the churches the governmental offices and the guidance is thrown in the big box stores and the guidance is explained the whole thing about what big box stores were actually a front for on the planet but we won't go into that right now so we are participating in the shift in consciousness we're moving out of the consciousness of victim victimizer consciousness that is a required frequency shift to align with what some people call the new earth we would say it's the birthing of new consciousness we like to use other names other than earth and um, you know some people use the, the names Tara and Gaia Sophia and all of these things if we just thought about our existence in the garden a co-created collaborated garden through collective agreement of thought consciousness that is what is currently transforming on the earth and so the guidance came through and suggested an invitation that we make the 4th of July which in some fictional reality that isn't real and doesn't exist is considered the birth of a country and so all of the countries everything is coming down borders boundaries everything is dissolving as the consciousness as our heart opens our heart flourishes with these Schumann resonance leaves as we're going into these gamma wave frequencies that is taking us and our entire reality into a new existence that's why we always quote the 60th gene in the 60th gene as Richard Rudd says when the 60th CD ignites in multiple beings it will be the end of the world as we know it and Gaia and the cells that make up her consciousness will move forth into a new reality in the blink of an eye so the guidance is inviting if you've never done grid work in your life that's okay it's very simple grid work like I say is just about bringing your intention and your focus with love to a moment in time or a moment in time and space and you can do that with crystals you can do that with objects on the ground you can use sticks you can use flowers you can use pine cones I walk the planet praying with water for many many years just moving water around you can have a sacred bottle of water and just do drops of water on the earth because when we engage with something in the physical using our intention and then we use something in the physical that makes it even more physicalized in reality and that's what we're doing is we're bringing a more physical reality into reality through conscious participation through choice through what we are choosing to create together collectively so if we were to all choose to create something together collectively if this love stream is inspiring please share it that's called gifting 
we could choose a day. This is why the guidance always said Standing Rock was so important because Standing Rock brought the Rainbow Tribe, the star seeds on the planet together of all shapes and sizes, all colors, all bloodlines to pray with one thing together, water. So if we were to just align ourselves with zero point, just for a miracle coordinate, zero point means neutrality inside of the self and we were to do it at specific places called nodal points, the obvious place for people to find those nodal points in their neighborhood is just to go to you, your local church <laughs> because your local church guaranteed is on a powerful nodal point or vortex on the planet. And the guidance is fighting that on the 4th of July, we make 4th of July the day when people just invite their neighbors and their community to go out to the areas where the churches are and do a ceremony, a blessing, just holding zero point together on the planet, on the grids, on the motherboard together to empower this quantum shift that we are on the precipice of. So we are going to keep sharing with this and invite organizations on the planet to help share this out as a, a very intelligent, empowering uh, opportunity for us to collectively participate in a quantum leap in the consciousness. It's already happening all the time, every day. And to, um, to participate by going to these nodal points on the grids, it's uh, a super empowering way to participate in the transformation that is available. It's kind of like, um, you know, these, these buildings that are all becoming empty now, the churches, because people are waking up to their personal sovereignty and realizing there is no middleman between us and the source that gives us life. And so this uh, 4th of July can be this day on the planet, that day of declaring our sovereignty at these nodal points in the grids that we know for certain are powerful vortexes because that's why the churches were placed on these locations on the grids. Um, so that's my sharing for tonight and I will continue to share this idea and if you have um, a, a group or an organization on the planet that has a platform that maybe is open to sharing this idea or this concept, this invitation. We can uh, bring a lot of people all over the planet and it doesn't take a lot, but a handful of intentioned people to create transformation. And as a long time, very, very uh, active grid worker on the planet, never underestimate the power of a simple ceremony to transform your reality in the blink of an eye. Uh, having walked the planet for many, many years working extensively with the grids, the transformation that comes when we align ourselves with the planetary logos by engaging through ceremony with the planetary grid lines miracles about this is about opening this planet is a giant stargate this is about opening the true stargates that uh, restore our capacity to transcend time and space activate our super uh, natural capacities to move in and out of time and space it will transcend all of these levels of transformation that would have to take place if we follow the evolutionary cycles out we don't have to follow the evolutionary cycles out of this story that we created or this reality. We can actually take a quantum leap through the 3015, through neutralizing our polarities into the singularity inside of us. And what better place to do that for five miracle minutes or whatever, 11 minutes um, on the 4th of July to take the planet and our consciousness through a quantum leap together. So if you're interested in helping to support this idea or put it out on your platforms, please uh, direct message me and through Messenger and I would love to uh, share this out on any platforms and just explain grid work to people, explain how the planetary grids work, having worked with them extensively for many, many years. 
um, and traveling all over the planet to bring transformation to the consciousness. This is a message that is coming direct from source as uh, a suggestion, idea, and a way, and an inspiration for us to take the quantum leap together and personally participate and also trans transmute all those ancestral lines um, and associations uh, that have occurred through the church, uh, through the indigenous, all these stories, victim, victimizer consciousness. This was a huge part of my journey on the planet was to restore the rem feminine rainbow serpent line and to remove that victim, victimizer consciousness out of the grids by doing ceremonies at specific places on the planet, carrying bundles for various di in di different indigenous nations. And so um, I'm happy to speak on platforms if anyone wants to message me, do interviews about this suggestion. And I know that these transmissions, when they come through, are uh, really um, absolute perfection to the clarity of the information. And so what is coming through right now is an invitation for us to organize ourselves and bring ourselves together to do this. And I'm calling out big organizations like Unify to use their platforms to join in this, um, this invitation for us on the planet uh, for July 4th. So we love we, we thank we. If this love stream is inspiring, please share it. That's called gifting and yay humanity. No one left behind. We're all taking the quantum leap together and let's create our beautiful garden consciously and intentionally by participating in our relationship with the planetary grids. We love we so much. Aloha.